Hello, my fam. I love my job and I love you. I love doing these videos. I love doing my website, my podcast. I love spilling the tea, but not just spilling the tea, letting you know what's in it. All the ingredients and what tea could be hazardous to your health to drink. Today, I'm talking so much good stuff from YouTube drama to Billie Eilish drama, but we need to start off with this Brody Jenner drama and BS. I'm sure you, like me, have been paying close attention to everything going on with Brody and his ex, Caitlin Carter, and Miley Cyrus. Well, Brody has released a statement about Caitlin Carter, which is so hilarious and makes me want to roll my eyes so hard that I, I just like have a headache. I don't believe Brody Jenner. He is not credible. He, he's a reality TV star and a Jenner, okay? Before I get to what he says, I'll give you the preamble, which I believe more. The new issue of People Magazine, friends and family of Brody spoke to them. And as I've said before, I think People is the most reputable of any media outlet, okay? They say that Brody Jenner was hating his life with Caitlin Carter and revealed that he never even wanted to marry her. He didn't. They, they had a ceremony, but they never got legally married. According to a Jenner insider, quote, their wedding day was this obligatory thing he felt he had to do, but they were already miserable. Then why have that ceremony? Why walk down the aisle with her? The source continues. Caitlin wants to blank, blank off Brody she and Miley aren't dating, but they're both separated and their husbands, uh, separated from their husband and bonding over everything that's going on, they've joined forces. Additionally, quote, his relationship with Caitlyn was toxic and he hated his life with her. Okay, that is what the Brody Jenner team that works with him, his friends, his family, that's what they are telling People Magazine. If you didn't see this, Brody took to Instagram to say something totally opposite. Brody says, there is far too much negativity being directed at someone who I love and care about very much. I feel the need to set the story straight. Caitlin and I have been best friends for six years and continue to be. We, like many others before and many after us, grew in different directions over the same six years. Caitlin is a wonderful, beautiful, and fun to be with person, always a positive force in my life. We decided the best move for us both was to keep our love for each other strong, but move forward separately with our lives. I respect Caitlin and care deeply about her. She deserves to be able to move forward in her life with respect and happiness. You know what that is, ladies and gentlemen? That is spin, and that is also Brody Jenner wanting to paint, paint himself in a positive light with you and I. He wants the public to think favorably of him. You know, I mean, maybe he's being sincere. I'm trying to, I'm trying to contemplate that. That's just not where my brain goes to first with Brody Jenner. You think he's being legit? I mean, maybe because he's already got a new girlfriend, Josie Canseco, and maybe that helps him get over her. And maybe because he was never into it. So he's like, hey, you know, this is my friend. I, 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 I did her wrong. Let her be. All right. I got even more couples news to get to. I'm talking about Gigi Hadid and Tyler Cameron. But first... Thank you to Candace Valance. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you, Candace Valance. 
Thank you to Aaron Sim. Thank you to T. La. And thank you to Tessa Grimm. My super chatters, it means so much to me. I am sending you all the vibrations, the positive energy. T. La, Tessa Grimm, Candace Valance, and Aaron Smith Sim. Aaron Sim. And for those of you wondering, I am wearing a Madonna t-shirt. She just had a birthday. Happy belated birthday to my number one of all time, the queen of pop. Okay, I mentioned Gigi Hadid and Tyler Cameron. You guys, a couple days ago, I said how he was spotted at her New York City apartment yet again. Well, now Gigi and the Bachelorette alum have been spotted together in upstate New York. If you go on vacation with somebody that you've been going on dates with, you're officially dating in my book. Like, you know, you're not casually dating, you're dating. You may not be monogamous, you may still be dating other people, but you're officially dating. You didn't just go on a couple dates with. You're dating if you go on vacation with somebody. That's like active. Oh, I gotta film more videos here because my skin and this light just looks so good. Speaking of Gigi Hadid, her brother, Anwar Hadid, continues his relationship with Dua Lipa. The two were just spotted together having a night out in Los Angeles. Making it work, you young kids. Also making it work, albeit unconventionally, is Kaylee Cuoco and her husband, Carl Cook. The 33-year-old revealed that she and her 28-year-old husband don't live together full time. Holly Weird, I just don't get that. Listen. I could understand wanting your own bedroom. I could understand not wanting your own bedroom, but wanting your own bed. I think I would want my own bed in a large bedroom if possible, just because I sleep better. But I don't understand, well, I would probably want my own bed and my own bedroom <laughs> if I could. But I wouldn't want my own house if I was married to somebody. What's the point of being married? The Big Bang Theory alum says, we have a very unconventional marriage, you know? We have different locations that we are at a lot. We're not together every single day. I mean, if it works for them, great. For me, it wouldn't even be a trust issue. Like if I married somebody, I would trust them, but I also would want to live with them. Especially because it's like my kids, right? You know, I work so hard, but at least working so hard, I'm working from home and I see my kids all the time. So it makes my guilt feel a little bit less bad. I would feel the same way about a husband. I work so hard. Well, I almost feel like with a husband, well, I don't even know. With a husband, I may have to work less hard. But then with a husband, I'd have somebody helping me with the bills. Because I'm not going to get married unless somebody's contributing financial. Uh, I don't even, I don't want, oh, oh God, now that like opens up a can of worms. Yeah, pay me rent. Pay me rent. Not, not paying towards the mortgage. Pay me rent. But I would still own, I don't know. I, 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 Let's move on. Rihanna and her boyfriend, billionaire Hassan Jamil, also are still going strong. She and he were spotted having dinner together in Santa Monica. Get it, Riri? Get that ring, honey. In more music-related news, I am stoked about this. One of the breakout artists of 2019 is Lizzo, and she just got in the studio with Justin Timberlake. They are gonna be recording, they are recording together. I don't know if that's for his album or her album. I'm gonna say it's probably for his album because he feels like he needs some of that Lizzo heat that she has right now. And even more music related news, Offset, 
is now part of the gaming community. He's joined FaZe Clan as an investor. I don't understand the gaming world whatsoever, but congrats, FaZe Clan. All right, in other music related news from Offset to another rapper, Triple X Tentacion, Billie Eilish continues to support him despite the awful things that the late rapper did to women and gay men. I won't get into the specifics on YouTube. I'll save that for the podcast. But she said this. <clears throat> I think it's kind of unfair when something gets more popular after someone passes. When I found him on SoundCloud, I had no idea who he was or anything about his backstory. I just messed with what he was creating because it wasn't something I had heard before. I think that's when you know that music is real to you because you don't know blah, 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 blah. He was a complete tortured genius. <clears throat> that's not what I would call him. I love Billie Eilish and you know, she's entitled to her opinion, but it makes me like her a little bit less that she's glorifying somebody who is so violent and awful to so many people. Speaking of rappers, do you guys know Blueface? Busted down Thotiana, that Thotiana, Thotiana song? Well, the rapper in a new interview revealed that he, over the last six months, was intimate with about a thousand women in six months. In six months, there's 180 days. That averages out to about like 5.5 women a day. I'm gonna guess he was clearly lying. There's no way he could be hooking up with five women a day, every day for six months. Or like multiple, I don't know, I just, I find that hard to believe, but it was a good laugh. All right, some TV news. Do you guys remember Ronda Rousey, the former UFC fighter turned WWE wrestler, now turned actress as well, is going to be joining Fox's 911 show. She's going to be playing a firefighter. Congratulations to her. I would love to be doing more acting. Por favor, Dios mío. This is broken. We got to fix this. But that doesn't mean that the energy here is broken. Things that are broken can be repaired. More acting, more acting. Um, speaking of Fox, the cast salaries for BH90210 have leaked. And some people were upset or surprised, or I don't even know the, the word or how to describe it, shocked, um, thinking it was too low how much the cast was making. The cast for 90210 is making $70,000 per episode. It's six episodes, so they're making well over $400,000 for less than two months of work. Frankly, I think that's good. You know, Fox wasn't sure if the, boot, the reboot would be a hit or it wasn't a sure thing. So better to have $420,000 than not, I say. And in success, this could lead them to more money, not just with the show, but outside of the show. Tori Spelling can now use this to pay all her bills. <laughs> in more TV news, Drew Barrymore is working on a talk show. She just filmed a pilot in New York City, and I'm hearing that it's a talk show for syndication. I love Drew Barrymore. I think she's likable, but I don't know if she'll work in daytime. When I heard that Kelly Clarkson was doing it, I'm like, that makes sense to me. I think Kelly Clarkson would work in syndication. I think Drew Barrymore needs to explore an option like Facebook Watch or something else. I just don't think she's 
syndication material. Maybe it's, maybe I'm wrong. What do you think? Let me know during the live chat or in the comments section down below. And even more TV news, Kourtney Kardashian has shocked people. This is definitely shocking people. She posted a photo of herself with visible stretch marks. And she even drew attention to them, saying stretch marks the spot. Okay, cool. I've shown my stretch marks repeatedly. Khloe Kardashian, though, would never. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get to the YouTube drama in a second, but first, a shout out to Fiona Judd Cooper, one of my favorite Brits of all time. Also, I think this one might be British too. Kirsten Flood. Kirsten, are you watching? Are you a Brit? I love you, Kirsten Flood. And finally, I love my one of my favorite Latinas, Giovanna Valadez. I love ya, Giovanna V. Mwah. Thank you to my super chatters. Yay. All right. If you guys have not heard, a group of LGBTQ creators are suing YouTube, claiming that they are unfairly demonetized and that YouTube hides their content and doesn't show it in related or, or suggested. It's a good thing that I mean, yeah, you know, like as I'm seeing with my family channel, a lot of my views on my family channel are coming in from suggested that YouTube suggests. If they don't, you can still grow and monetize YouTube. You just need to remind everybody to turn on the notifications so they don't miss your videos. But, you know, hopefully we can get some real truth as a result of this lawsuit. In more YouTube related news, do you guys remember that Ingram family with the dad that was accused of awful, awful things? Well, the British family vloggers now are selling reborn dolls, replicas of their youngest son, Jace, for fans to buy. And they're selling for a minimum of over 300 American dollars. After what that guy was accused of, this doesn't seem like a bright idea. And also selling your fans something that's just so, I mean, I guess if you have fans that are gonna spend that money, that just was weird to me. And finally, speaking of money, this is insane. PewDiePie, all these years later, you know how much money he makes every single month? He makes over $8 million a month. Maybe I should be a gamer, no. Maybe my son will, or my daughter. That's just not my thing. Other top earners in YouTube, the second place, Dude Perfect. I've never watched a Dude Perfect video, but they, I think they're a collective. They make over $4 million a month. Oh my gosh. Jenna Marvels still does really good for herself. She makes about 800,000 a month. Um, she's the only woman on the list. Wow, that's crazy that men dominate. The Paul brothers are number 13, number 14, blah, blah, blah. Gaming, gaming is where it's at. Like Vanos Gaming, Dan TDM, Jack Septic Eye. <sighs> crazy. And PewDiePie, I was reading, makes a lot of his money through merch. I'm still trying to make merch happen. I hear you, I wanna do it. It's not as quick or easy or simple as, as and actually, oh my God, organically talking about it, 
the first products that I come out with, what should it be? I think it should be a t-shirt and a mug. And should it say Fram on it? Or should it say something else? Something like funny, something pop culture? What would you be, what would you, if you want anything, what would you want? A mug, a shirt, you wanted to say Fram or something else? Let me know your feedback here would be invaluable as always. And you right now, you are the most valuable to me, even if you don't super chat me because you watch and you watch the entire thing. And if you don't know this, YouTube pays creators, not by views, but by minutes watched. So the longer people watch videos, the more your, your favorite creators can make. I like being transparent. I got a lot of bills and five people that depend on me, my three kids, my mom and my sister who I employ. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I love you. You, you also support me by hitting the like button and commenting. Engagement means so much. You, a lot of people have been getting personalized video greetings from me on Starzona. That's a new thing I've been using, which I love. You, I'm still on Cameo as well, but I'm loving Starzona. You can get a personalized video greeting from me at starzona.com slash Perez Hilton. The link will be in my YouTube description for this video. And everything else, you know what to do. I love you and just smile. And I'm gonna come at you tomorrow with something different, which I hope and think you will like. Thanks for watching, thanks for being you. This is now an ASMR video. You're awesome, you're beautiful. <laughs> Say bye, Teddy. Say bye. Maybe I can get a thumbnail. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Bye.